The Jalen Brown evolution. He was really good last season. Right now, he's great. Oh, and yeah. I'm buying. I'm buying that he's closer to this level than the level we saw last season. One player who has surprised me individually, and this also has to do with some hot shooting to start the season, is Jalen Brown. I've he got is, him. That's my he, last you had him too? Yeah, he, yeah. He, he, he made another leap so far this season. 27 points per game on 44% from three. And the three-point percentage, like we are just talking about with the Knicks and the Pelicans, it's maybe not sustainable to shoot 44% over the full season on six attempts per game. But he looks even better off the dribble as a scorer creating his own shot. And as a passer creating for others, like the Jalen Brown evolution, he was really good last season. Right now, he's great. And I'm buying, I'm buying that he's closer to this level than the level we saw last season, because this is somebody who, why am I surprised? Why am I? He's gotten better every year of his career in big ways, too. And it's just happening again right now. It's just at some point you think a guy is going to plateau and they keep getting better. Jalen has continued to get better. I saw him at the beginning of the season. I remember talking about it on the mismatch and people were uh, people were hitting me up and they were like, oh, yeah, comparing Jalen Brown to Kobe Bryant because I said to you, I had just watched the game with Jalen Brown. He had 40-something in three quarters. I mean, this guy could have scored 60-something points <laughs> in, their, in their game against Memphis earlier this year. You can go look it up. He had in three quarters. He had 40-something. And it really was like back in the day. It That night, it reminded me of a Kobe-esque performance because I've seen that's the other time where I've seen that, where a guy's just gone all the way the hell off and he didn't even play. In the fourth quarter. I saw Kobe at 50 in three quarters <laughs> one night. I mean, just ridiculous. Uh, but Jalen Brown was like that for that night was on that level. But those nights, what did he score the other night? It was the most points ever in somebody that played less than 20 minutes or something. Yeah, the, the other night, the other night, Jalen Brown had uh 33 points in 19 minutes and 14 seconds. What the hell is That's that? It's crazy. <laughs> it's insane. I mean, these guys play 40 minutes, uh, you know, somebody like Damian Lillard. Yeah. Okay, so double it up. What's that get you? 66? Mm. <laughs> if you play, <laughs> if you if you stayed at that pace yeah. for the rest of the game, yeah. that's pretty crazy. wild, man. And this is more than just hot shooting. It's not like he's just hitting a bunch of open three pointers and you know he's shooting 45% to start of the season. He's creating a lot of these shots for himself, especially like you mentioned earlier in passing, the Tatum's been out. So he's been given that opportunity to handle the rock more. And dude. It's, that's that's I'll tell, too, you, I'll tell you what with Boston though, if you get Tatum back at the level he was at his best last season, and if Brown can sustain this, and if Kemba can stay healthy, mm, they're right you, there in the East. They're right there in the East as a Finals contender. They're right oh, there. When you got two superstars, right, mm-hmm. and 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 the other thing is they can defend. Right, like that team can buckle down, and you could foresee a circumstance where they get into the playoffs, and they can get stops. I don't care what anybody says about last night's Brooklyn game. I watched this game, and Harden took over there at the end of the game and was unstoppable. He's just making all kinds of shots when it mattered most. But I saw people after that game like, "Oh, Brooklyn finally defended. Brooklyn finally, bro. They were playing against nothing. It was Bam Adebayo." KP Okpala and like Kendrick Nunn and like like who that's what not, that's not They're, nothing. Like, you, they, you, what respect, are you talking respect about? Respect those guys. K- KZ KZ's get got some K- talent. Oh, KZ's give me got a some break. talent. And by the way, they, I, they I was, were not playing against a team that could score. They, they didn't even. They, they, he didn't have any of their guys. There was no Tyler Hero. There's no Jimmy I know, Butler. I, I, there's know, no, I know the Heat were depleted, but they they, they have some good depth. They, oh, that's they, good they depth. shut down KZ Okpala. Congratulations! <laughs> what defense? Oh my I, God! They reminded me of the friggin' uh, 2000 I, 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 Pistons. I, I'm not saying this to to defend the Nets and their defense for you know grinding their on the defense defensive end. Stinks. I'm just I'm just saying don't say those guys are nothing. KZ Okpala's got. 
young raw talent. Kendrick Nunn is a spark off the bench. It's not like these guys are slouches. When they had to score in the half court, they could not score. They were trying to throw the ball to Bam for ISOs, and that's it. That's all they could do. Bam's pretty could, good. They Bam's pretty score. good right now. He is, he good, is good, yeah. but he was all they had. Yeah, he can't do it alone. These other guys, like, they weren't going to – you can't have James <laughs> Harden and Kevin Durant on one end and then uh, Okpala and Kendrick Nunn on the other end. You're, you're going to, a, uh, you know, they say uh, bringing a knife to a gunfight. The, mm. And I, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying yeah. that they're defensive. So that's why I say on the Brooklyn front, the, here's the thing. You never thought that Boston – you thought that, yeah, they would really have to defend because they can't match the firepower. That's why I'm, I'm bringing it back to that. Yeah, yeah. Because yep. if this is the Jalen <laughs> and this is the Tatum, you can match firepower yeah. with Kemba, Tatum, and Brown. Like, you're not – it it seems crazy. I mean, I, I don't know if anybody can match Brooklyn's firepower, but you can make up for it on defense. Right. Is what you're saying, yeah. And you could certainly score enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you've got your two guys to bring to the fight. Three. Because I guess Kemba, you know, most reviews have been pretty good since he came back in terms of how he looks. Well, I mean, it's really four. Peyton Pritchard will be back eventually. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and I left, and I, and I don't want to. I don't want to short Tice. You got Tice out there too. <laughs> Marcus Smart can have some nights where he shoots over forty percent from the field with all three pointers. Yeah, he can have some it, big nights. Marcus something, Smart something's shows so good, up, man. Hey, Marcus Smart shows up for playoff games. He, he, does. Yeah, he does. He shows uh, up for playoff. I've said it for years. Smart, if he's ever on a title team, he's going to have one of those moments that's like on those NBA highlight reels oh, for yeah. a long, long time. If he's on a title team someday. Yes. Um, but they uh, look, you, you and I, same feeling. I, I, I think that there was a lot of things we could have expected. Maybe we could have even expected improvement from Jalen Brown. But improvement from Jalen Brown, we could foresee him being up. 23 point per game yeah. scorer. Not and people could say, yeah, but there is a huge difference. 27 mm -hmm. is a different class of guy. It just is. You know, there's a lot of guys that can average 20 or 23. There's a, far fewer that can average 27 a night. And who knows if he'll end up 27 a night, but at least you look at right now. He's at 27 and Tatum's at 27. We started this conversation talking about Kobe. Yeah. And we talked about the work ethic that that he always had and the example that he set. I feel that same way watching Jalen Brown. You know, he mm -hmm. he has his mantra: faith, consistency, hard work pays off. Yep. He practices what he preaches, man. I mean, Jalen Brown symb symbolizes that whole mantra: F C H W P O. Hard work pays off. We're seeing it on the court. From him, man. Every year he gets better. Every single season he gets way better. And I don't know, man. It, it's just, it's really cool to see that amount of growth from him. Like, especially because of just how awesome he is off the court, too. Yep. With everything he does in the community. Everything he does to try to make people in their lives better. Um, he's somebody, I remember when he first entered the league, you know, feel for the game on the court. People questioned it. Off the court, there are people saying, oh, is he too smart? Does he care about basketball? I mean, it's silly looking back well, now at some I, of the comments people were making to see the man he's become and the player he's becoming. It, it's it's pretty awesome. It's just what? a great, great player, great person to follow, and a great role model for anybody who's a fan of his game, too. And that's not, with him, to your point, that it's not a natural progression. That's a guy that has busted his ass. To, yeah. When you can make the shots that he makes now, that that is a guy that has been in the gym work. working on mm. his game yeah. because he, you watch him offensively, and that is not the same guy that was around. Like the the level of he turned himself in to a great scorer, and he was not <laughs> that. He was a lot of other things, but he wasn't a great scorer. Yeah. And now he's like a guy you could just throw the ball to and say, "Go get me a bucket," and he could do it. And that's just work. He's got the moves. He's got the footwork and the shot. I mean, he is dead eye. He's been so awesome. Fun, he man. really has. Yeah, and you know so what? Fun. And he he's in that class when we lamented uh, uh, McCollum going out.